Section 3.5, Critical Values and the First Derivative Test. In this section, we are going to determine the critical values of a function and use the first derivative test to find the local extrema of a function. The local maximum and local minimum. Let f be a function defined at x equals c. f of c is called the local maximum or the relative maximum if there exists some interval a, b, open interval that contains c such that f of x is less than or equal to f at c for all x in the open interval a, b, we say a local maximum occurs at x equals c. Similarly, f at c is called a local minimum or relative minimum if there exists some interval a, b, again, open interval a, b, that contains c, such that f of x is greater than or equal to f at c for all x in the open interval a, b, we say a local minimum occurs at x equals c. Note that we always also say that a local extremum occurs at the point. The point means the order pair. The first coordinate is the x. The second coordinate is the y. Or the point C, F C is the local extremum with the understanding that the y value is F C, which is called the local extremum. Theorem of local extrema. If a function f is continuous on the interval a, b, and c is in the open interval a, b, and if c is either a local max or a local min, then f prime at c equals zero, or f prime of c doesn't exist. This way leads to the definition of the critical values. The critical values of x are those values c in the domain of the f, where f prime at c equals zero, indicating the horizontal tangent line, or a prime at C doesn't exist, indicating the vertical tangent line or a sharp point. In summary, to find the critical value, we're gonna find the derivative. We're gonna find the derivative. We're gonna look at two cases. The case that X make a prime to be zero. The case that X that make a prime undefined. For the graphical forms um, on the notes, as you see the behavior of the graph in part A, the graph is decreasing until the point C, F, C, and then make a turn up to increasing. So the turning point there, the slope is zero. That is the critical point and provide the local minimum local maximum the other way around the graph increasing and make a turn where the slope is zero and the graph becomes decreasing so that point is called a local maximum the case of c d f and e there are cases that the derivative can be found by zero but the behavior of the graph is decreasing and decreasing the graph does not change the behavior from increasing to decreasing or vice versa therefore those Point C, they are not called um, either local max or local min, but they still consider as the critical value. For part E, the graph increasing and decreasing, in the graph, the derivative doesn't exist, but that point gives you the local maximum. The first derivative test the first derivative test for local extrema to determine the local extrema for a non-constant function f continuous on the interval a, b. First, we're gonna find the critical values, the, the x equals c value on the open interval, such that in the case that f prime at c equals zero or f prime at c is undefined. And the second step, we're gonna draw the analysis line that what we did in the previous section and mark all the critical x values on it from solving for the critical values in part one, check the side of the f prime on each side of the x equals c. If the side change from positive to negative, the point x equals c gives you the local maximum. If the side change from negative to positive, 
the value of point C is the local minimum. In the graphical way, when you draw the real number line, if the C here, the size change from positive to negative, graph increasing, decreasing, so C gives you the local max. Another way, at the point C, the size change from negative to positive, the graph decreasing and change to increasing, the point C gives you the local minimum. That is about the first derivative test. In the case that the size doesn't change from the left to the right, that means there is no local maximum local min. Let's see this example. F of x is negative 1 over 3 times x to the third plus x squared plus 3x plus 1. We're going to find the critical value of the function f and then use the first derivative test to find any local extreme. First of all, to find the critical value, we have to start with finding the derivative of the function. This derivative, which is the derivative of negative 1 over 3 x to the third plus x to the second plus 3x plus 1. Derivative is negative 3 over 3 x to the second plus 2x plus 3, or simplify to be negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. To find the critical value, we are going to find when the f prime is going to be 0. We have negative x squared plus 2x plus 3. In this case, we see the right-hand side as the polynomial degree 2, so we can factor completely. Negative as a common factor, we have negative of the quantity x squared minus 2x minus 3. Factor one more time, we have x minus 3, x plus 1. And we're going to look for the critical value. And we get x equals 3 as one of them, and x equals negative 1 as another one. In this case, we have two critical values, x equals 3 and x equals negative 1. The next case, the next part, we are going to find the local extrema using the first derivative test. For the first derivative test, by using the critical value that we obtained, we're going to draw the sign, the line that contains the sign. Uh, this is the line of the derivative, the f prime. Original form, which is negative of the x minus 3 times x plus 1. Locate two critical values, which is negative 1, which are negative 1 and 3. At the point negative 1, the slope is 0. So this is m equals 0. This m also 0. So going to make into the 3 partition. We're going to look at the interval that x is greater than 3, x between negative 1 and 3, and x is less than negative 1. For different cases. So with the negative side over here, if you pick any number greater than 3, plug in the two factors, you're going to get plus side here and plus side here. So overall, product of the side going to be negative. Between negative 1 and 3, for example, you pick the, the value 0. going to be negative times negative inside times positive inside. Overall, going to be plus side. And then for x less than negative 1, negative side from the beginning before the product, and the quantity x minus 3, you pick the value less than negative 1. Like, for example, x equals negative 5. Negative 5 minus 3 remain negative. Then negative 5 plus 1 remain negative. Overall, the product will become negative. Now, we identify the plus minus psi for the f prime. With the first derivative test, if the psi change from negative, which is decreasing, to increasing, this x, going to be the local minimum. Another case, 
if the sign change from positive to negative, this x is going to be local maximum. So the local minimum occurs at x equals negative 1, and the value is is the function at negative 1, which you plug it in the function provided to get negative 2 over 3. I just look at the value from the graph here. At the same time, the local maximum occurs at x equals 3. And we say that the local maximum value, which is the function value, or the function value at 3 equals 10. So the order pair that we look at is negative 1 comma negative 2 over 3 as the local minimum point. At the same time, the order pair 3 comma 10 is the local maximum point that you see on the graph.